Seven. Stand by. Six. Stand by sting. Five. Four. Three. Two. Cue one. later. Cue sting. Welcome back to WCTV. I'm Brock Jacobson, and my lovely co-anchor is Jesse Severson. Thank you, Brock. We're taking you behind the scenes today and showing you what really goes on here in the studio. It takes a lot of hard work to get where we are today, putting on the show. Yes, it does. It also takes a lot of people. Here's Matt with the info on how, how we get all the Weber City Finest into one room. Matt? So every year, the student directors go on the hunt for new prospects. But it couldn't be that hard to get into WCTV, could it? So how come I didn't get in? Okay, so maybe it's tougher than you think. But how do you get into WCTV? To get into WCTV, you first have to take broadcast fundamentals. Uh, following that, you have to fill out an application. Then you'll meet with one of the upcoming directors for the next year, and they'll put you through an interview. And then after about a week or so, they'll select the new members for WCTV. Broadcast fundamentals? I didn't take that. Am I some sort of special case? Yes, Matt. You are very special. Apparently you don't have to have broadcast fundamentals to get into WCTV, but it would definitely improve your chances. So how do you get an application? Most people get applications um, through Mr. Neumeyer. He gives them to them when they're in the class of broadcast fundamentals. Otherwise, you can go talk to him and you can usually get an application. After you finish your application and hand it in to the student directors, they'll begin to set up interviews with the students. Hmm. The interview process. Now that's something we definitely look forward to. If you didn't get accepted into WCTV this year, don't worry, you can still try again next year. And now that you're more familiar with the process, it should be easy. Well, I'm out of Connell and hopefully now you all have a better understanding of the process of getting into WCTV. Matt? I'm still trying to figure out how you got in here, Brock. I think they just knew that I would have great features. Yeah, right. Speaking of features, Maggie has a feature on features. Whoa, slow down. What? Let's just take it to Maggie. I was assigned to do a feature on features. I know what you're thinking. Who are the geniuses that come up with these ideas? That's Jappy, Becky, Carrie, and Trevor. They're the WCTV student directors that were chosen last year by Mr. Niggemeyer. The four of them sit down and pick feature ideas by looking on the school calendar and talking about school-related events. They then write their ideas down on the feature board and assign each feature to a different talent. The talent have been taught how to write scripts, interview people properly, speak on camera, use movement with camera angles, and much more. The most important part of making a feature is sharing the most information possible in a very limited amount of time. Once a feature is assigned, the talent have to try to make the topic as interesting as possible, no matter how boring the subject is. First, the talent have to write their scripts. A script consists of an intro, the thing at the beginning of a feature, the middle, which is the interviews and other important information, and the outro. In other words, how you're going to end your feature. Once this script is written and okayed by one of the directors, the talent are free to go shoot video for their feature. Different camera angles are a must in features. They help make the features more interesting. The script is written. You've got all of your interviews and other video. Now it's time to edit. Editing makes the feature flow. Editing is probably the most time-consuming part of making a feature. You have to capture your video, put the clips of video on timeline in order, and adjust sound levels. From start to finish, it takes about two and a half weeks to complete a feature. Wow, I know that was a lot of information to throw at you all. Now you should have a better understanding on how much time and effort is put in to completing an assignment. It's time stressful, but in the end, it helps to make a great show for you all. I'm Maggie Maxson with videographer Joel Kennedy, sending it back to you guys in the studio. Great feature, Maggie. 
I can't believe we're almost done with the show. It seems to go by so fast. I know! We only have one more thing to show you guys. You now know how to get into WCTV. How to do features. And after this, you'll know how we get to join you in your classes every week. Show them how it's done, Liddy. Today, students and teachers patiently wait for their favorite time of the day, WCTV. Have you ever wondered what happens behind the scenes? Alright, everyone ready up there? Okay. After the features are assigned and the taping it's done, it's time for the fun part. The directors carefully choose two anchors for every show, one male and one female. The two individuals then review the script, practice reading off the teleprompters, and talk to the directors on ways to improve. On show days, the techies are very busy. They work on the soundboard, they create transitions for the show, and they also fix any technical difficulties we may have within the studio. What's your job as a technical director? Well, I'm in charge of making sure all the features and the anchors get transferred back and forth and for putting up the tile stripes and for making sure the sound is correct. The directors also have a very stressful job. They're in charge of writing the script, in charge of the anchors, and all the features. Once the show is all recorded perfectly onto the package tape, it's time for everyone to relax, but only for some of us. The talent has to worry about what everyone will think of their feature and what will happen at critique. At the critique, we once again review the show and watch each individual feature. Everyone then puts in comments to help the talent make their features better. They are then graded on the amount of creativity they have and the information within the feature. The show is finally done, and as Nig says, once we start, we don't stop. I'm Libby Rasmussen reporting for WCTV, and the next time you have a problem with our show, how about you take it up with him? Oh man, even I wouldn't want to mess with him. Me either. Well, that's all we have for you this week. We hope you enjoyed your exclusive behind-the-scenes look at WCTV. Also, good luck to the boys' basketball team. They are on to state. We will play MOC Floyd Valley at noon next Wednesday. We can use all of the support we can get, so join us at the barn. Before we go, we would like to say good job to the mock trial teams. They put forth a great effort in yesterday's competition. Have a safe and happy weekend. Bye. Bye.